Hello and welcome back to my channel. Are you looking for a delicious, healthy breakfast recipe that can support you through menopause and weight loss friendly? So I'm Gina and I am a certified holistic health coach. Today I'm gonna to share with you one of my favorite breakfasts that is gonna help you to do just that. We started a three month journey to self empowerment, to improve ourselves. And if you don't know about it, check out the video. I'll leave the link in the description box below. But that's what we're gonna do. So today we're gonna focus on just a simple breakfast recipe that involves some really good things that are gonna help. It's gonna be heart healthy. It's also gonna be good for helping us get through menopause. I use two different type of teas every single day. And you can either create this tea or you can buy bags. I have both. So sometimes I'll just make it from scratch. Other times I will go ahead and just use a tea bag. So either one, you either way you wanna do it, you go ahead and use that. But I like to do green tea at least once a day because it's rich in antioxidants, it helps improve the brain function, and it also helps with promoting fat loss. In the evening, I usually have a ginger and turmeric tea, but both ingredients have powerful anti-inflammatory properties it aids in digestion and it boosts the immune system. So in other words, it's really good. You know, sometimes when you go through a menopause, a lot of people might have joint pains. They might have different pains like that because of the inflammation that's in their body. So that's gonna get rid of that. That's something you definitely wanna add to your regimen of having that every day. I am on a weight loss journey myself, you guys. I lost weight and then due to tragedy, I did gain it back. So I do things a little bit different. Um, but I did weigh myself today just to give an update. So I did lose five more pounds from the additional pounds that I lost, which was really good. But I don't like to weigh myself because weighing yourself can be very discouraging, you know, especially if you're the type that, oh, whatever, I messed up for today. Let me just go ahead and mess up. So you don't want to do that. You want to mainly go by measurements because in menopause, our weight can be up, it can be down. A lot of things will cause us to be bloated, different foods that we eat. So we have to be very careful and very mindful of that. So now what I do is I make sure I strength train three times a week and I also eat very healthy. And then I do measurements at least like once a month and just kind of check with my food, check with my stomach, is my stomach getting flatter? How, how are my clothes feeling? And that's how I do things because it's gonna come off slow. When you're before, you can lose weight really quickly. Now in menopause, it comes off slow. So you don't wanna stress yourself, stress your body even more. You wanna take your time with it. Just kinda of enjoy the process. So let's go ahead and let's get into how we make this delicious breakfast. Okay, so for this breakfast, I do like to use Ezekiel bread. It's just really good. It's got a lot of fiber in it. It's got a lot of protein, helps with the digestion, and also keeps you full for a long time. I also like to use peanut butter and use any type of peanut butter you want, but that's a good healthy fat for you. Also a little bit of extra protein. Um, and I also like to do a little bit of chia seeds because they're packed with omega-3s. Also have fiber antioxidants in it. Now you should mix it with a little bit of liquid, but it could, it will throw the texture off. So if you are a texture person, just don't use it, okay? Okay, so with the chia seed, the reason why you wanna put in a little bit of liquid because it actually, it expands and you don't want it to expand in your stomach like that. So leave it out if you're not comfortable with that. The next thing we're gonna put on top is just, I use a tablespoon of flax seeds and a tablespoon of um, hemp seeds as well. Now flax seeds are really good. They have a lot of fiber in it. It also helps with hormonal balance and digestive health. And hemp seeds, they're a good source of protein and essential fatty acids that promote heart health. And then you wanna put some blueberries or something on there, but blueberries definitely have those antioxidants in there. And um, it's just really good, it supports your brain health, really, really good. So that's why I go ahead and add that in. Now, if you're like me and you need just a little bit of crunch, just add just a little bit of the granola, just for that little bit of crunch. All right, next we're gonna go ahead and throw a little bit of honey on top. Now honey is also a natural sweetener, but it also has antioxidants and has anti-inflammatory properties. So, I mean, everything we're eating in this meal is definitely good for, uh, for our hormonal uh, making it balanced. Now I am using a little bit of soy milk because it has seven extra grams of protein. But let me tell you, soy is very controversial. I am a blood type A, which means I can 
eat it. I can tolerate soy. So it's actually good for me. It's beneficial. So that's why I'm using it. Okay, and this is the breakdown of it, you guys. That was 28 grams of protein in that, 563, and then 26 grams of fat and 38 carbs, which is really, really good. And then, but what we want is we want our omega-3s. We want to make sure we got enough vitamin D, magnesium and fiber, potassium, all those things, guys, we got it in one meal. And if you like this video and want to see more, go ahead and subscribe, thumbs up the video, leave a comment. Let me know what your favorite breakfast is. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye guys.